We're in Amatlan de Quetzalcoatl, and that's where we're going. That's called La Ventana, that uh, hole in the, in the mountain. And there's a, a cross up there, too. We've been to, we've done Amatlan hikes several times, but uh, never to La Ventana. There it is there. We're going to do that and some forests. Ready to go? Ready. All right, let's go. We've entered the forest. We got a couple of friends here with us. There's one. We're not exactly sure if we're on the right trail, but we'll see. We hear cowbells. I see them. Can you see them? I see them from... There's a few. Here comes the other dog. Oh yeah, there's a... Uh, there's one in there. Ah, uh, here's a cluster of cows. Two females, two babies. Don't know who goes with who. Oh, there's another one. Three, uh, three adults and, oh, I see three babies. There's the one with the bell. Making all the racket. Here. Following the dogs? Yeah. Well, there is kind of a trail. Where... You're going the wrong way. We're gonna try this way. The dogs said to go the other way, but the humans say this way. The dogs can make it up here. It's pretty steep. Oh, the white one made it. Hey, I don't go. I don't go. All right, they're coming. They're making more food here than we do up there. They got four legs.
can see it's over here. Nothing. You can come up through here is better. To the right? Yeah, I did. I went straight a little bit longer for the trellis, but there is some branches with thorns. Wow, man, this one's very nice. Good view up there? Yeah, good view. And a couple of houses completely in the middle of nowhere. Ah, very nice. This is all new for me and Eric. Mm -hmm. There used to be a path, but uh, I'm completely covered by now. All right. Hey. La ventana. La ventana. Yes, exactly. We're quite far off, by the way. Of the trail from Wikilogs? Yeah, let me show you. Um, so, this is La Ventana. And this is where we are. Where are we? The blue? The blue, yeah. And, and where's La Ventana? Here. Oh, so we're much further north. We're completely a different way. What we're following is more like here. Which is not bad, I don't mind following this, but I don't think it will get us to La Ventana. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and we should... We can try to find La Ventana on the way back. If we take the same way back, we end up... We totally abandoned the other uh, side we were doing. Uh, we got to a point where we couldn't go, so we backtracked. And now I found this more uh, overgrown path. Very thick forest. And at the rocks from the mountain. The other one looked much more, the other part looked much more scenic. But it, uh, we're not sure that, if it would, that it would have taken us to La Ventana. And I guess we lost our dogs. They went ahead. I guess they thought we were going back to where we started. And they ran ahead and we turned off to the side. I like having the dogs. It's nice to have company, but it's stressful too. For me, as a dog lover, animal lover, you don't want them to have any problems or get lost. Still pretty early. We started around uh, must have been around 9.30 or 9.40 when we started and we've been going for uh, 49 minutes. I guess in the dry season this is a, a nice view. 
Yeah, not much to see, here, to see here, but from La Ventana, it's gonna be excellent. Nice here. A little thick here. I need two hands for that. Well, we're going up for sure. Ah, uh, you want to take the camera? If I need two hands, oh yeah, I can see. Just a sec, yeah, I see. Uh, it's pretty much straight up there. Oh, easy. That one's smooth. Yeah, the rocks are uh, almost like natural climbing. Uh -huh. Exactly. It looks exactly like one of these climbing walls. Always uh, like this, a couple of parts. I'm sure it's not, but this looks like the part we did with those guys that one time. A little bit, yeah. I, I know it's not. Yeah. But just, uh, okay, ah, this is really cool. The rocks, yeah. yeah, this crevice. Oh, this is excellent. I love it. Fantastic. All right, let's do this part. We're in this narrow canyon. This, I don't know if this is a slot canyon or a crevice, crevasse, but it's pretty cool. And extremely humid. Very. Cool and damp. Uh, where can I get up here? Yeah, I guess you'll need to take that yep. one more time. Oh, very easy. All right, here we go. slippery here. I'm going to yank myself up. I'll get it this way in case I fall. with the plants, apparently there's a plant here that stings you. And it looks very much like this one. I don't know if it's the same thing. It looks like just your average, nothing special. But uh, they say like, yeah, there's a risk. You need to be careful with All right. these ones. So we gotta watch out for the green plants. Yep, and everything is green. So yeah, like just not grab too many of them. We're still good on the trail? We're still good. I didn't take the map, but uh, I didn't see myself. Yeah, 
We've only been at this one hour and one minute, and it's already better than the eight hours and three minutes last week. And according to number just a little bit off, but that could just be could be the GPS. Yeah, you can't be off this trail. There's only one way to go. There's a nice view here. This is more views than we saw in eight hours and three minutes last week. Some openings here. Forest, but with openings. Last week was just forest with no openings. What can I do here? Nice up there? Yeah, it is very nice. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Ah, cool. We're, we've got a roof here. Oh yeah, very nice. We had to dismount our backpacks for this. Can you do that more in one Kind of Fluent motion, motion. Yeah, yeah, yes. harder than it looks. Yep. All right, one, two, three. Yeah. Nice. All right. All right. Hard part done? Maybe. <laughs> For now, exactly. We don't know what's coming. Camera will be turned off. What's that? How steep would you say this is? I was going to say 50, 55 maybe. Yeah.
Oh yeah, looks like it'll be good views up there. Ah, oh, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Oh, excellent, yeah. Ah, look at the cross. Oh, I see the cross. Oh, it's pretty small. Yep. So that ventana is on the other side of that. Yep. I so. All right, let's take a look at this view. This is Amatlan de Quetzalcoatl. That's about all I have to say. There's a vulture flying right in front of us. Another one over there. What a view. Great sky today too, clear. There's a, about uh, eight or nine vultures up there. And I do believe I'll show one, uh, one more little view here. I think we're at La Ventana here. It should be a rock bridge above us, uh, like a big, the frame of a, of a, well, of a window. Yeah, this is it. Oh, look at that. Killer. All right, that didn't take long. Man, that's a big rock. Not sure if I can do this climbing and uh, recording. I have to do one or the other. Yeah, I'll turn the camera off. Eric made it up there. So I'm in, in La Ventana. And uh, yeah, this part that I that we just came up, definitely four points of contact need to come through there. And now I can put it back here, and I think finish this part easily.
Ah, oh, what a view. Two hours and one minute. Okay. Took to get here. Going down is going to be tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not going to be much faster going down. No. Here we go. So here's La Ventana. And then according to my map, we can go higher. Up to the cross, no? Up to the cross. The cross is right so above us. The, yeah, yeah. Let's see where 15 meters. Let me get a good view here. Let me go around here. This is why they call it. La Ventana. And it's all washed out here, but it's very nice. Let me see if I can get it better. Here we go, a little bit. That's our fourth hike, I think, using the app, right? It's a pretty unspectacular cross. So we're above La Ventana now. We've completed part one of today's mission. Very difficult, yeah? Very difficult, yeah. That was, um, I told Eric and he agreed, that was like the limit of our abilities. Neither of us would have wanted to do anything. There was much more technical, technically difficult than that. That was uh, quite a few points where we needed four points of contact, both hands and both feet. And uh, 
a lot of concentration too, or you'd be in big trouble. So we're back down, and that took, uh, we've been at it for four hours and six minutes now. Mm -hmm. And um, so now we're doing part two, which is going to be much easier. This one we've done three or four times. This is mm -hmm. the fourth or fifth time we've uh, we've done it. This one by itself is not it's not that great. It's okay. It's nice. There should be some uh, waterfalls here today. We're in the rainy season. The last time we did this was early in the year, in the dry season, and much nicer now as we should see some waterfalls. And this is mostly through forest here. Very easy, very gradually uphill. It ends with a cool mirador, a cool lookout. So we're just uh, kind of at the edge of the village now. Not quite the start of the forest. Yeah. Almost, ah, a couple of cars, look at that. Yeah. And a doggy. Yeah, he's okay. Hey, my friend, are you gonna walk with this? So we're going into this, the valley. First time I think we've ever seen cars here, no? Yeah, but yeah, we remember last time there were a lot of people. Yeah, we did see a few people. Well, maybe this is the trail that the guy was going. Oh, that goes down? Yeah, I think trail is very small and very vague. It may be better next time we try with the, with the map. So I guess uh, this is the beginning of the forest here, and we're going to basically just follow the river. We'll come across some waterfalls and maybe some animals, some cows maybe. We've seen cows in this forest before. Saw a few cows on the other section here today. Very nice when it's so green and lush yeah, yeah, and I'm full. Just that. It's great. The river never gets full though. The river gets water in it, but never more than like, what, 10 centimeters deep? I think so. We've never been here like just after the strong rains, right? Maybe then you would get a strong river, but we've never seen it. Is that a new house? I don't know. I've never seen it either. The wall, I don't think that they got house either. I've never paid attention. I've only seen it. So this is the easier part, the second part today. Much easier. That first part was very difficult. Very, very difficult. So here we go into the forest. There's Eric taking a picture of these people. This family's got their little swimming area here. No 
warm, but it's not cold either. It's not too bad? I cannot spend uh, 20 minutes in there, but like for a two minutes cool time. Let me check the water. It's a good place to uh, wash my hands, which are quite dirty. Oh, that's freezing cold for me. Oh man, that's cold. I, w I would jump in it if I had brought trunks. I don't know, this water feels pretty cold to me. I'm Canadian, I have super high tolerance for cold air, cold weather, but not the... Uh, I'm a lightweight when it comes to cold water. So we're coming up to what I dubbed three or four years ago, the Vagina Rock. I think for obvious reasons. Vagina rock. Inside the vagina rock. This is how it looks inside a vagina rock. Cooler than one might think, but also damp as one might imagine. Some kind of uh, candle, not sure what that's for. Yeah. Oh, this goes down to a waterfall, no? Hopefully, it goes down to the river, that's for sure. Waterfall is... I think it does. Yeah, it's not the, the biggest one, but I think this is a decent one, I think. Uh, it's pretty small. Yeah. Rainy season isn't what it used to be. I think at some point all these rocks were underwater. The people of the town, or the village of Amatlan, have decided that 
if you go in the river in these pools, that there's a 10,000 peso fine. I'm not sure where that begins, if the family that we saw way back would get in trouble or not. We're deeper into the forest, but uh, I think they use this water in the village, so I guess they want to keep it clean. Not much water in this waterfall, but very nice looking. Look at the color of that water, very nice. The water, you can't really see the actual fall. There it is. A beautiful shade of blue. Far less water than we've seen before in previous rainy seasons. I'm not sure why. Um, when we come here before, you walk across these uh, couple of rocks here, and uh, the water was almost as high as those before. Big pool down there? Yep. Oh yeah.
actually been going up out of the canyon for 15 or 20 minutes now. Steep through this forest. Almost there. This is our final destination. The last little bit. Sweating profusely, very, very damp in this forest. Not hot, but <clears throat> very humid. Oh, the clear blue skies are gone since we've been in the forest. All right, here we go. It's gotten completely cloudy since we entered the forest. This is a great view in front of me, behind the camera. I think it took us about an hour and a half to get here on, from, the, from the village. Uh, we started five hours and 37 minutes ago is when we started the hike for the day.
anymore. We're back in the village. We're done. This was a long one. This was six hours and 52 minutes. We're at the car right now. A long one. Last week was eight hours and three minutes. Much, much better today. This was uh, kind of two hikes in one. Same village, different, um, totally different. So we started at the Aventana and then above to the cross and then into the forest with a few little waterfalls and pools. One last thing about the La Ventana. I don't know how many people watch this, but not recommended. Unless you're, you're in really good shape to, to do uh, La Ventana and uh, I would say have some experience and are, are uh, a little bit daring. That was, as I mentioned, that was just at the limits of both of our uh, abilities. Any anything more than that, and we would have had to turn around and go back. But it was it was pretty cool. This last part that we did in the forest, we've done. I mentioned three or four times. Not the best, but if you're here, you may as well do it. So that's it. Here we are at uh, at the car. So for me and Eric and uh, nobody else. That is all. Smells of tortas. Smells of tortas. My tortas are in the car. I'm going to eat those right now. <laughs>